the story on the illegal migrants continues to rumble on and on and on. Uh, 492 migrants came to the United Kingdom in small boats on Saturday. And when you compare that or, or combine that rather with the fact that earlier that same week, uh, so last week, we saw the largest number of crossings in a single day since the Labour government took power, with 703 people uh, being recorded as arriving in the UK in 11 boats on the Sunday of last week. And that's 64 people per boat. Uh, and the Labour Party, of course, came to power saying they were going to do something about this. So Yvette Cooper was asked, and, and she's in the, the press today, reported as saying the following, which is this. Uh, 14,000 illegal migrants will go by the end of the year, Yvette Cooper has vowed. And she says that the Home Secretary is targeting the most deportations in a six-month period since Theresa May's government in 2017. She says that, uh, well, actually, there were double that number, by the way. There were 32,000 migrants deported in 2017. And the target would mean beating the figure for the second six months of last year of 14,000, the highest in seven years. She says that the major surge in immigration enforcement and returns activity announced by Yvette Cooper includes the reopening of two old immigration detention centres to help efforts to boost the number of failed asylum seekers and foreign criminals returned to their home country. There's one in Oxfordshire and one in Hampshire, and they'll provide an extra 290 beds by the end of the year. 290 beds. You know, they've got thousands of people coming over every month and eventually provide an additional capacity of 1,000 once they reopen these sites. But Labour had not previously confirmed whether it would press ahead with those plans. The national crime agencies recruiting another 100 people. Blah, 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 blah. But the... The key question, the key test of whether Yvette Cooper is serious on this is, will she have the bottle? Will Sir Keir Starmer have the bottle? As a human, as a lawyer himself, who loves the human rights, uh, basic, the human rights lobby and the human rights franchise that has been able to pocket so much of taxpayer in taxpayer cash, basically representing some of the most egregious, horrible foreign criminals to ever walk this country who should have been out this country faster than you can say to Tia Kia. And it, it ain't happened because of the European Convention on Human Rights, which actually protects these people and allows them to stay in this country, despite the fact they may have committed some of the worst, horrible crimes crimes that we can actually come up with in our heads, whether that be foreign on foreign soil or in this very country. So I have absolutely no faith whatsoever that either Yvette Cooper or Sir Keir Starmer would ever countenance say no to the court in Strasbourg, to the European court, and actually basically revoke the, their right to over a rule decisions made by the UK Parliament or UK government. So I'm sorry, but this is complete and utter bollocks. And I think no one who has complete control over their own faculties is ever going to believe this. She is Pinocchio. And that's why I gave her a big nose in the thumbnail of this live stream. She is a liar. She is lying to the British people. This is a fraud and a con. And by the way, a plague on both their houses, because obviously the Conservative Party also did sweet FA about this. And it's going to get worse. And I think more people are going to get hurt in this country. The anger is going to grow and... We ain't seen the word last of everything that's been going on recently. Mark my words. It's the the dividing lines between ethnic groups. And I don't I take no pleasure in saying this or predicting this are going to get worse. And I think the human rights, the DEI, the two tier policing, the inaction by politicians, they're all exacerbating that very phenomenon. But Eunice, do you agree with that? Yes, 100 percent. And. Look, I made a video uh, like a couple of days ago, I think it was two days ago, which I speak about United Arab Emirates, where they have a zero tolerance towards illegal immigrants. If a boat turns up to Dubai, they will turn it back. They wouldn't even ask you where you're going. They're like, you know, you cannot park here. You have to go where you came from. Right. And they take the best immigrants or even if they go and take workers, they go and handpick the workers they want from specific countries to come and do a specific job. 
And now we have a situation where all the rich people, all the competent people are leaving London. They're leaving the UK and they're going and investing their money elsewhere. And it's funny because I, I think, I don't know if it was the Prince of Saudi or someone or Qatar that said, we don't take the trash. He just said it you know, blatantly. He, we don't take the trash. We take the creme de la creme, meaning we want the best talent, the most competent, the wealthiest, the most attractive people in our society. And that's the problem we have. The problem we have is that we take Im illegal immigrants and asylum seekers from third world countries that come from extreme ideological backgrounds that will probably bring down the overall standard of the society. They probably won't contribute because they have many dependents. Mo the majority of the women are going to come and claim housing benefit, child support. So they're not even contributing yeah. and assimilating to the society, which brings down the overall level of society. The problem is not immigration. It's just unhealthy immigration, right? Mm -hmm. You need the best people in your society. And lastly, we are so dumb because I have so many rich friends from abroad that say, dude, it's so hard for us to come to London. Why is it so expensive? Well, Why is the universities the double the price? Why is the NHS so expensive? Why is the rents are so high? So we basically put off people to come and invest their money to come and work here, to come and contribute, to come and study. And then yet we take asylum seekers and illegal immigrants and give them free handouts. It's just so stupid, it's beyond me, you know? And we should adapt the policy, zero tolerance for illegal migration. We shouldn't take any more asylum seekers, in my opinion, either. Mm. And just open the UK as a hub for people to come and invest their money, like become a Silicon Valley of Europe. We need that kind of visionary, you know, outlook on life and the reason why saudi arabia qatar dubai they're improving they're actually outpacing us whether we like it or not even some asian countries they're yeah. outpacing us because they have a proper vision for the future they're not so politically correct they're not so weak they're not so pathetic well you weakness know? yeah and that's weakness what we need is key yeah yeah I, uh, the, the, the today the telegraph have just reported that there's a jobs tax coming from labor because of the five billion pound yeah. surge in borrowing costs so I mean, you know, mm. these things are going to get worse. No one's going to want to invest in Britain, right? It's we we are yeah. increasingly becoming a failed state, and I think that's a, a, a terribly depressing state of affairs. But we can turn this around. We must turn this around because uh, otherwise uh, we're all going to be in the gulags, and that won't be very nice. But Chloe Jeff says mm. it's a blatant lie, as in Yvette Cooper's pledge to uh, get rid of fourteen thousand illegal immigrants by the end of the year. Uh, Jeff says it's a blatant lie for everyone they deport. They will import 1,000 more. Yeah, I mean, it could be the case that Yvette Cooper genuinely intends to do this, but she's just naive and doesn't realise how many stumbling blocks she's going to come into in terms of human rights challenges and whatnot along the way that will stop her from doing this so long as it stay in the ECHR. Or it could be the case that she knows that she's lying and she's just saying this to please people. Either way, I'll believe it when I see it. I highly doubt that this is going to happen. There was actually a, a video uh, from GB News that uh, went round of um, uh, Stephen Barrett, the lawyer, talking about the ECHR and how there was just no point in Britain ever being in it in the first place. Britain uh, had the safeguards in its own laws uh, that were necessary uh, to start with. It is completely ruining our ability to to have a border um and it, it's ruining britain we have to leave the echr we have to do something that allows us to actually kick people out of the country if they don't deserve to be here people come here knowing that you cannot be kicked out that's why everyone comes across on the boats they know once my foot's on the sand that's it i'm there no one's going to get rid of me no matter how rubbish my asylum claim is uh, and just eunice going back to your point of everyone wanting to uh, leave Britain, you know, not only are we bringing the people from third world countries into Britain, we're bringing the worst into Britain, but the best are leaving. I think Britain yeah, was, I think yeah, it was yeah, last yeah. year, second to China in the number mm. of millionaires leaving the country. I think we had nine and a half thousand millionaires leave the country mm. in one year. And that's partly because of migration uh, destroying the country. It's partly because we have ridiculously high taxes that do not pay for anything. You do have millionaires that are going to places like France and whatnot, which have also quite high taxes, but they see the streets are policed, the healthcare system works and whatnot. 
here you've got millionaires they're paying well over 50 percent tax they get nothing for their money the house prices uh, just keep going up the country ends up being more crime ridden why wouldn't they go away and take yeah. their investments and take their talent elsewhere to other countries like the uae this country is going in a scary direction uh, D Daniel says someone needs to start explaining why Cooper can come out and say she wants to deport illegal immigrants and not be arrested like those ex-users she's just sent down. Uh, <laughs> point. Have you got what it takes to be a reasoned presenter? Well, send us a short clip of yourself to join at reasoned.uk and we might be seeing you on this very channel very soon indeed.